In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the net workdays function to calculate the total pay for an employee. So the question I need to solve is this. What are the total salary costs for 2011? And I don't need to worry about holidays. Those are going to be treated as workdays. So looking at the data here, I have first name, last name, start date, end date, salary. I'm only concerned with the latter three columns here and basically the start dates are either going to be in 2011 or 2012 whereas the end dates are always going to be in 2012. So I want to figure out how much salary somebody is owed in 2012. So first what I'm going to do is enter the start and end dates for 2012 and this will make calculations easier and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to do equals salary and then I need to divide that by the total number of working days in 2012. So start date, end date. And right off the bat I need to put in an if statement because this person here, Alex May, didn't start in 2012 and thus should not be getting any salary in 2011. So let me go ahead and add in an if statement. So if and so if C2 is greater than or equal to 1-1-2011 and if C2 is less than or equal to 2011. Four, F4. So if C2 falls in 2011, then we're going to calculate this. Otherwise, we're not. And you can see here that the people that started in 2012, they don't have any data there. So let me actually change this to days. So I want to figure out how many days somebody worked in 2011. So what I'm going to do is equal network days, start date, comma, and since everybody's end date is in 2012, I'm just going to use this end date here to make sure that it only calculates from the start date through the very end of 2011 and push enter there and I need to change this to number and so anything that is coming up either zero or negative is from people that started in 2012 so I need to go ahead and add in that same if statement so if the value is true then it's going to calculate it and if the value is false it's just going to put a zero there And so finally, now I'm just going to times them together. And that's the total salary and costs per employee for 2011. So let me play around with this. Let me just go ahead and change the end date of this to uh, 2012. You can see that the formula changed. They're no longer getting a salary. Let me change that back to 2011. And then if I change this to 2011, they are getting a salary. They work 234 working days, and then that's their salary. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.